Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today we're going to work on the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Assignment Challenge. Um, it's a 52 week prompt assignment challenge. So you get uh, five prompts plus one bonus prompt. Um, so that gives you a total of six prompts each week. Um, you can replace one of the five prompts with the bonus prompt if there's like something that you don't have or don't want to use or whatever the thing may be. Excuse my hands, they're still... Um, painty from doing the finger paint thing they're stained so um yeah i've scrubbed them but you know how that goes sometimes so anyways um i just did that challenge so um this is my second video today <laughs> all right so i will leave information in the description box below this video so you can see how to do this challenge um you know i'll give you the information on how to find marguerite miller and all that so that you can find that and get if you would like the um, assignments this way or you can buy a planner or you can buy a digital download of the planner so just the pages that you could put into like an altered book or a different kind of little um, um, you know book like this a smaller one because this this is a large size this is just a regular multimedia uh, 9 by 12 inch and 90 pound paper um, that I am using because I just I, I like the bigger size but if you want the smaller size more for a planner or something like that then uh, Marguerite Miller has um, the actual planner the printout of the planner or you can go with just the assignments like I have all right so there's uh, these are my weeks that we have done so far we are on week five. Oh, I think I forgot to get a number out I'll have to get a number and I'm gonna take my page out that's what I like about this particular um, mixed media notebook and I got this at Walmart and I have no idea if they're at all Walmarts or what but anyway the pages come out and then you can just pop them right back in the same way you pop them out so that's nice and we're going to orient this direction this week I have somehow ended up with all you know all of them going the other direction but this week we're going to do it this direction so I have something maroon is the first prompt so I have this adorable little girl she's so cute she doesn't look super happy but she's super cute with her uh, maroon top on a repeating pattern found in nature I've chosen this um, the sand I don't know what you call that but the rock formations where you can see all the lines just over and over and over again uh, an eating or cooking utensil such as a spoon I have um, these a whole bunch of spoons with like spices and herbs and um, what have you I think those are chickpeas and some nuts and whatever just randomness <laughs> something hung on a wall well it when I found this image it was an image of a mask hanging on a wall I just cut around it because I didn't want the plain colored it was a white wall so I was like, that's kind of boring. But anyway, that's something hung on a wall. A doodle, I have some of the uh, bits. This is one of the pieces that I did in the finger painting challenge. And I kind of doodled around it. I, I mean, I'll do more doodly stuff. But anyway, that's sort of what I have for that. Um, I just liked the color, the turquoise with her and this. I don't know, I just thought it went well. And then um, bonus is typewriter text. And this is a piece of typewriter text that I found in a, in a book, an old book that I purchased. And it was just in there. So it was the whole page and I have the rest of it. But anyway, this is just a piece of it. So that's what we're going to use today. How are you all doing? I hope you're all fabulous. I'm doing pretty good. I've got a um, couple of videos done for the week. So that's always handy because, you know, life. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get some Glowforge stuff cut out hopefully this week, which will be very, very nice. So anyways, that's what I'm up to. My daughter just left to go to work. It's always a bummer on Sundays because it's later, you know, almost, almost dinner time. And, you know, she goes to work and then has to go back to her dorm. So she doesn't get to come back home tonight. So that's, that's always a fooey day. But anyway... My son's here and he's not working today so that was kind of nice surprise um I think I will ink this well I don't know how much of this I'm going to use so I'm going to wait till I decide on that I think we'll ink this and I don't know again if I'm going to use all this I guess I should figure that out before I ink huh? otherwise it's just a waste of time 
One thing I do want to do with that is I kind of want to put her into the picture a little bit more. So I think I'm going to cut around that spoon so that she'll kind of sit down in there more. Got to move all my junk around. So yeah, I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy and safe and all of those good things. Doing pretty good around here. No sickness or any of that. Hallelujah, right? Because that's no fun. My daughter did get, um, she got the flu last week, but we know it was the flu because one of her friends that she took into the doctor <laughs> because they thought um, he had COVID, um, he had the flu. So pretty sure that's where she got that. <laughs> So, but she didn't have it very bad. She didn't have to go to the doctor, or do anything about it. She just kind of had a few wheezy days. And um, then she was feeling pretty good again. Coughing a little bit, but nothing much. So, I got to figure out how far over she's going to go from there. So that I cut it to the right amount. I don't want to cut into that pine too much. Okay. I just kind of wanted her sitting down in, in behind there a little bit. So it looks a little bit more like part of the picture. I think I am going to cut around that a little because I got it a little jaggedy. I'm not great with a blade, I'll tell you. So yeah, we've been just getting stuff done today as you do on the weekends to try to you know get your week off to a good start okay and i i don't know yet how much of this i'm going to use so i'm going to wait to do more than that but she'll just tuck down in there there's still just a snaggly piece that i don't like I don't want any snaggly pieces. No snaggly pieces allowed. Okay. So I don't know exactly how I want this either. Oh, paperwork with me, would you? So something like that is what I'm thinking. And I like it because you can kind of see some of the other spoons back there. I have to figure out how I want this. I'm not really sure what direction this is supposed to be, but. This way, or do I want it this other way? Maybe this way. I don't know why it matters, but anyway, in my brain, that's what's working for me. Uh, and then our doodly stuff, I might just kind of put a sort of backgroundy, background noise, right? Where did my mask go? Uh oh, that's not a good sign. If I already lost a piece. Oh my goodness gracious, he's down on the floor. He's trying to escape. No escaping. Maybe I want this over here. I mean, I could still put some of that behind it. I just like the turquoise and the gold and that of that bit. It's not that I love the the finger painting images, but of that particular. grouping or I could use typewriter text back there I have some bigger pieces not that but this piece is bigger I could use to go back here
I love that typing paper like that. It just feels so cool. I think it's that, what do they call it, onion skin or whatever. It's just a great, great feeling paper. Feeling very boxy again. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this boxy thing. Maybe I just need to tear this a little bit so it's not so boxy. I don't want to tear a ton off of it. Kind of like this number four over here, even though that we're on number five. Too bad that wasn't last week's, right? Because that would have been a little bit fun. I don't think this piece is big enough. Let me see. What else do I have? I have this piece too. I just like the kind of color combo. There's no doodly on this though. I'll have to doodle somewhere. It goes this way, I think. Not that it really matters. Okay, let's see gonna cover up a lot of that I think something like that and then I still may add some other little pieces of things so oh, ink. Yeah, I think that was my struggle last week was everything was like a rectangle <laughs> or a square or whatever. And it was just, uh, I could not figure out what was bugging me so much, but I think that was it. And it's kind of like that again, but I like this piece. I like the whole piece of this particular image. Lots of spots the ink or the ink the glue did not want to stick on that uh, kind of deli-ish paper here kind of behind with that and this could go on top. I think I need to tear this. This is a cigarette card that this little girl was on, and there were lines like, um, like kind of a textury paper to that particular um, cigarette card, and so there she's got lines on her. But this kind of has the weird lines. I don't know. So I think it works. Okay. All right. I'm thinking I like that quite a bit. Sorry, just trying to get that back in there. All right, I like that over the top of that better. So that's where that's gonna go. This is gonna go here. I think I'm gonna 
sneak it out and sneak it back in, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Where it goes, anyway. Little bits of paper everywhere today. And paint. Because I slung paint everywhere yesterday, if you, or the day before, if you watched the video, because it'll, it'll air on Monday. Quite that far. Okay. About there. And it looks like this one's next. So let me think. Let me just sort of get a visual here. Gravity. Right at gravity. Okay. That's on the. <laughs> You're wondering what in the world I'm talking about. Get rid of all this. I didn't wash down my desk, which I probably should have done. I just got excited. I got all the stuff together for this and was like, see, it's on this, the paint. Um, and I was like, I want to get going. Oh, I did get some cards made out of the first four um, collages. So if anybody's interested, they um, I'll let you know when they're in the shop. They're not in the shop yet, but there'll be 16 sets of them. I just wanted to try it before I order very many, you know, see if anybody's even interested. <laughs> They were last year, but I don't know if they still are. So, and I couldn't make cards out of them last year because they were not copyright free images. Of course, that makes it hard. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to shake her off. It's like she needs to stay on there. Um. about there seems right so I'm just gonna put a little glue under here just so she'll stay here hopefully taking out that page again already because I don't want to get glue on her face or anything or on any of it realized I didn't get any glue behind her so I'm gonna try to sneak a little in here okay. oh please I always have to get it right across their face when I do that I don't know there on her shirt some more got glue squished out everywhere didn't I really good at that oh I was supposed to put down oh my word Amy I am struggling today with this whole thing, aren't I? I want to put down this piece. <laughs> and I forgot. It's always the logistics of the order.
This paper just rolls whenever it gets wet at all. Problem is I keep getting too much glue, huh? I got a little on here. No matter how careful. These are a lifesaver though. You can find them. I got these ones on Amazon, these um, smaller size ones, but a lot of times you can find them at the dollar store. They're just little um, like goop erasers. They erase glue really well. So if you don't have some of those, you might want to find yourself some because they are definitely good to have. Okay, now we can get her shirt all glued down. I just have to mess up the order at some point, it seems. She's so sweet. I think it was called the jewelry maker's daughter or something. Cause she's got on all the pretty jewelry. It's very cute. I don't want to do this photo thing or this um, painting. I'm not sure if it was a photo or a painting, but originally. Okay. I think we got it. Okay. Get this one down. Always miss the corners. I'm really good at that. All right, and now our mask. Put some ink on that. I probably should have cut her hand out and put it on top of the spoon, huh? Did not think of that until just now. Don't you hate that? I like that mask. That's cool. All right, so I think we've got the things. I just have to find a number, and then we'll do some other stuff too. Oh, doodling. We don't have doodling, but we can add some doodling. That's not a problem. Let's see if I can find my number. Sure where I put them. There they are. Woo! Just dumped them all over the place. Um, let us see, let us see. Here is a five. Don't know where I want it. I 
I kind of like it over there. Okay. Could put one little doodle over here. That there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I even cleaned that out the other day and it still isn't working right. Keeps getting stopped up. I think what I'm going to do is do some spatters on here and then I might do some more doodles based on the splatters if that makes sense. I think I'm going to use the ink instead of the hmm. <laughs> can't decide. Uh, let's see. I, don't want, I want it to match the other. That's the dilemma I'm having. So I don't want to use something else. That makes sense. And I'm going with the gold because that's what's on here already. Cover her face, Amy, before you mess it up. I think I'm sort of starting to figure out this spatter thing. No guarantees, but it's getting a little bit better for me. Oh, I need to glue that spoon down a little bit better. Probably should have covered the mask a little too, but it's fine. Okay. And doodles. I don't know. I don't love doodling, to be honest, but just do some little Luckily a doodle can be any little drawing, right? Doesn't have to be anything in particular. sort of like our um, stamping. <laughs> this paper doesn't work very good. Let me see if I can do it with this. This is a fabric marker. It might work a little bit better. I don't know. It may not work at all. Wherever there's gesso or paper, it works. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
This is a little more like mark making, but I still consider it doodling. Maybe I'm wrong. I think it will work. Trying not to get my hand in the paint wherever it is. I kind of like those little swirly circles. Well, that's a fooey. Whatever a fooey is, right? <laughs> okay, I think that's enough doodling. <laughs> you can do one more over here. Do it around this gold. My circles, I can't with the circles, right? I can't stop with the circles. Uno mas. It gets very light on that waxy paper because that stuff is nothing will hold on to it. The paint even comes off of it a little bit. I should probably go over this with a, um, what do you call it? Um, matte medium. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm done. <laughs> okay, so we have something maroon is her shirt. A repeating pattern found in nature is that rock formation. In eating or cooking utensils such as a spoon, there's spoons. Um, something hung on a wall is my mask, a doodle, I did my little doodles, and typewriter text right there. Um, oh, I need to glue down her or this spoon a little more. Okay, I think I did it. I'll bring it up a little closer to you guys. If I can manage not to pull it out of frame. Nope. There she is. She's so cute. I wish she was smiling. <laughs> She's adorable. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Love ya. Bye.